Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in Scotland. And today I've got this fun fold card for you. Um, I've used the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper and this is a bay window fold card. Now I've seen a few of these and um, some of them are very complicated and some of them are absolutely huge. But this one still has plenty of room for you to write your message, but folds flat and will go into a C6 envelope. So just really my standard size of um, card that I tend to make, but just with a little bit of a difference. Um, the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper pack um, is a 12 by 12 pack and during October 2020 it's currently on sale with 15% um, off. Um, it's a fabulous paper and I, I've made a few different projects with it and um, this one has absolutely no stamping on it and the other one I'm going to make um, today is exactly the same. This whole page can be cut up with loads of different sentiments in all sorts of languages as well. So I've used peace, love and joy on that one. Um, but you've got from our home to yours, um, hearts come home, happy Christmas. There's loads of different ones that you could use. Um, and I've got another one that I'm going to use for today's card. Um, so for this one, I used images from this page of the designer series paper. The suite has dies in it, but I didn't actually use the dies. I just fussy cut and I actually had to trim off the eaves of that house and make it slightly narrower to fit on that panel there. Um, which is also why I didn't use the dies because the dies would have left a slight margin around about. Um, so just fussy cut from that. Um, there is a stamp set that stamps images like that that you can colour and then die cut as well. But for today's card, I'm just using um, the designer series paper. And this is the page that I am using today. So I have cut some of the images from this and I'm also going to be using the top part with the mountain scene there. All of the products that I'm using and the dimensions for my card will be in my blog post and the link to that is in the description bar below. So with no further ado, <laughs> um, I'm just going to change up the colour um, because I'm using this part of the designer series paper, I am going to use some pool party card instead of the poppy parade. And I think I possibly got the wrong piece of card here. Bear with me one moment. Yeah, I've cut a piece that's only uh, 10 centimetres wide and I need one that's 10 and a half centimetres. So I'll be back in just a second. OK, so I now have the correct size piece of card, which is 10 and a half centimetres by 29 centimetres long. And I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in that clearly I just used to cut this piece of card. Um, but I'm going to keep the cutting blade out of the way. I'm just going to do some scoring on this. And on the long side, I am scoring this at 
14 and a half centimetres. So that's the middle of the card and that's where I would normally score my card base. Then I am scoring at 15 and a half centimetres. 20 and a half centimetres. 23 centimetres and 28 centimetres and that's me done with my trim marker. Put that back. So, we need to fold in the middle just as normal and just burnish that line there. And then I want to fold back on this one, forward on that one, forward on that one, and back on the last one. So it's just the two skinny panels that are folded the kind of not normal way, if you like. Okay, now I did just say that I'd finished with a trimmer. I've not because I haven't actually cut my designer series paper. I wanted to do that with you. So this piece is 10 centimetres wide. That's where I got confused with my card. Now the first piece I want to, to cut for that is just going to go on that panel there so it's only going to be half a centimeter wide i didn't do that on my first one um but i kind of think it would look better so because it's difficult to make sure that you've got that lined up properly at half a centimeter there i'm actually going to do it on this side there so i'm just turning it upside down lining it up at half a centimetre and cut that. Okay, so that's my first bit. And I'm going to keep these bits in order so that we keep that seam on the front of the card. So my next piece I want to be four and a half centimetres. Then two centimetres. four and a half centimetres and finally not finally ten and a half centimetre I know what I'm doing honestly it just doesn't feel like it um, and then for a panel on the inside another four and a half centimetres So the total length of that designer series paper is 16 and a half centimetres. So I'm going to add them like that and then that one on the inside there. So as I say, keeping them in order so that I keep that, that seam built up from the designer series paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those to my card base.
So now we have the card front um, covered with their designer series paper. So you've got gaps in the picture, but it's still continuous. And I now want to add this piece to the inside there. So when I was adding them on the front there, I just tried to make sure that I had a similar gap either side between my score line and the edge of my paper on each panel. And so again, just want to make sure that I've got a reasonable, a similar gap between the edge there and there. Now I'm going to bring in some tear and tape and hopefully find the end. And I'm going to add that to this skinny panel here. Just right along the end. You can just tear that. I just quite like to use the ruler to get an, an, a neat edge and get quite close to the end there. And take the backing off and bring that forward. So you're just sticking that first panel on to the back of your card base. So you've got the makings of your bay window. Nice and easy, isn't it? To make it even easier this time, instead of fussy cutting the individual um, houses, I chose from the same piece of designer series paper, but further down, I used the stitched rectangle dies to cut parts from that. So I'm going to place them along there and the other piece of the sentiment sheet that I chose was peace on earth so I just trimmed that out um, I used my paper trimmer um, but I've got a tiny bit of red still showing from the other sentiment above so trim that down further so we've got peace on and earth. Quite happy with that. Okay, so peace no earth, nope. On right way up. So just a different just a little adaptation really of that. Now you could put those on um dimensionals but I'm just gonna add them straight down with some liquid glue and I'm going to put them towards the bottom on that This one is slightly shorter than the other, those two, so I've, uh, I'll just pop that roughly in between the two of them. So die cutting those is just a lot quicker than, um, stuck to me that's what it is <laughs> horrible moment there thought I dropped that piece <laughs> just at a little jaunty angle Let's try and make sure I get this as on and not no I don't want to get 
too much glue on it. Peace on Earth. I've cut a piece of Whisper White card that is 10 centimetres by 8 just to add on that inside as well so that again there's plenty of room for you to write your Christmas message and that will butt pretty much straight up to the edge there. So all we need now is this to be popped up with dimensionals and I just want to do them at that edge so there's plenty of room for the that edge to fit underneath. Okay, so I'm going to just dip where I want it to be and I'll, I don't want it to be right down the bottom. I'll put it a bit further up, essentially. It's between those there and there's plenty of room for that to go right the way under. And we've still got our bay window there. I hope you've enjoyed today's quick and easy fun fold card that will fold flat and go into a standard C6 envelope. If you've enjoyed today's video then please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd love to read a comment if you've got time to do that and if you're not already a subscriber to my channel please do click on that button too. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.